spinning, which is a trick I just recently learned, but I figured I would show how to do. The hula hoop that I am using is a 34 inch poly pro, a 36 inch beginner's hoop, and a 30 inch poly pro. Also, keep in mind that um, in order to be able to do this trick, you will need to be able to chest hoop and chest hoop while spinning. So, without further ado, I am starting out with a beginner's hula hoop so that you can see what I'm doing and it's going nice and slowly. So you're going to start off by shoulder hula hooping and spinning in a circle. And when you are ready, when the hula hoop crosses your chest, you're going to puff out your chest and bring your arms back behind you, starting to spin in a faster circle so that the hula hoop stays in place and does not move from your chest and stays in an isolation type thing. And with the Poly Pro, it is not much different. You are just going to shoulder hoop. And when you're ready, puff out your chest and spin in a quicker circle so that the hula hoop stays in one place. And try to keep your arms straight behind you. I did not do a very good job of looking pretty during any of these clips. I have no idea why. And for the little hoop, this one is a little bit harder for me because I am not used to hula hoops that are this small, but it's the same dealio. You're just going to spin in a circle, and when you are ready, you can puff out your chest and spin in a faster circle. However, if you cannot get the hula hoop to balance on your chest, this is what you're going to do. You're going to stick your arms out behind you and catch the hula hoop and spin so that the hula hoop stays in one spot and you can drop down your arms when you've gathered enough momentum so that the hula hoop does not have to be held up with your arms. This is easy to do when you're first learning. And do not feel discouraged if you feel like that's all you can ever do because that's the way I feel with this hula hoop. However, in this particular clip, I was able to do a regular sustained spinning without putting my arms back behind me. So, all oh, hope is not lost if you cannot do it right away. Just keep working at it. It just takes practice. Also, if you're having trouble even getting the hula hoop up to your shoulders in the beginning, I can help you with that. So, you can start off by waist hooping. And then when you're ready, put one of your arms in and shrug your shoulder every single time the hula hoop touches your arm. That way you can move the hula hoop up your body. And eventually, you can put one of your arms into the hula hoop and begin your sustained spinning. So this next part is a little bit hard to explain, so bear with me. You're going to start off by hula hooping on your waist, and when you want to bring it up, you're going to move the motion from your waist up into your rib cage, so that you're moving your rib cage in a circle. And naturally, the hula hoop will move up to your rib cage. When you are ready to move the hula hoop up to your chest, you're going to move your chest in a circular motion so that the hula hoop moves up to your chest. The hula hoop will move wherever motion is happening on your body. And eventually, once you get the hula hoop up onto your chest and you can hula hoop comfortably there, you can bring your shoulders and arms down into the hula hoop so that you can chest hula hoop and shoulder hula hoop and start your sustained spinning and not have to start on your shoulders because I know that that can sometimes be a little difficult. If this didn't make sense, I would be happy to make a more detailed tutorial of it. Seriously, just ask. Also, if when you're doing this particular one you look a little crazy, don't feel bad, you will. But that'll pass once you become more graceful and learn how to do it more properly. I hope you enjoy your newfound knowledge of sustained spinning. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you look forward to more tutorials, I can film more. Bye. Thank you for watching.